So Jorge is also supporting me through Patreon, so thanks a lot and I'm glad we get a chance to play a game now. So let's bring it on. Give it your all and see how it goes. Whatever, what have I not played today? Let's go for the Scandi. Mixing it up. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's a good idea to take on on d5 with the knight exchange because it's now kind of difficult to get rid of this queen on d5 from this very active spot. And the development for black is really easy. And now I can put some immediate pressure on the pawn on d4 and follow up with e5. Do I have something better? No. e5 looks good. And now I can take on d4 and probably win a pawn. Looks like it. Okay, now I shouldn't take on d4 because bishop takes g4 is checked, so I'm taking on e2. And now I'll take on d4 and I can take on d4 again and I have won a pawn. Queen g4 check. That doesn't work though because I can move my knight in between or my queen. And I think I move the queen in between. So queen g4 is blundering a piece pretty much because now white is not regaining the piece on d4. Okay, I'm asking him if he wants to play another one because that was so quick, you know. Um, so why not play another one? Because from here on, there's not really much to play for. So we do a rematch. Maybe or not. Or maybe we won't do a rematch. <laughs> I offered one, but uh, maybe he's not up for it. So Ian, if you want to play a game, I see you in the chat. Just challenge me. Let me know your name and challenge me. And we can also play a game. And Pramod asked earlier, what's my next tournament? Actually, only in a little bit over a month, I'm going to play the German Chess Championship. Extreme Karma is asking, what is the name of that opening so I can avoid it at all costs? <laughs> um, the name of the opening is the Scandinavian. But it's not that dangerous usually, unless John Bartholomew plays it, then it's really dangerous. So we are having the rematch with Horshi. The last game was really short. So let's play another one. And let's go for the Karakan. Beautiful opening. So solid. Rock, rock solid. Kind of 
is similar to Scandinavian. You get the same kind of structures, at least in this variation. White has the center, that's true, he has more space. But on the other hand, the black positions without weaknesses. And the goal is just to get off the opening and then um, try to attack white center later on. And you know I'm greedy, so I'm going to take this pawn on d4. There are similar lines where white can sacrifice the pawn on d4, but here I don't think it's one of them. And my pawn is really aggressive. He's Hoich is sacrificing another pawn on b2. I'll take it as well and hope I won't burn. I hope I won't burn. Okay, now there's the threat of rook b1. So let's bring the queen back to safety. Maybe I should not have taken that second pawn. Maybe it was a little bit too much. Maybe I should, should have just played queen d5. But my greed, my greed took over. Bishop a6 doesn't really do much. Queen c7. I want to go back to c7 anyway and then just pray that I can finish my development. Bishop f4, queen c8. Yeah. I am nervous here. I think white has more than enough compensation. <laughs> more than enough. Okay, it's a blitz game. Bishop e5 looks decent. Bishop g5 looks decent. Both of these moves look good because it, they also introduce the idea of bishop f5. But now it looks like I, I can at least get e6, bishop e7 in. Which is useful. Slain Z is asking, why am I able to speak fluent English? I've studied in the US for four years, so that has helped. Okay, if I Cassie can take on E6, but at least I finished my development. But maybe I can go Queen C7 to even keep my both my pawns. Did I mention already that I'm a little bit greedy? I think I did. I hope that rook takes e6 doesn't work now for some miracle. I think rook takes e6 is his best shot. So yeah, Slain Z, I studied in the US and obviously then you can't help but pick up the English language. All right, now I've consolidated and I'm still up two pawns, so that is very good news for me. All right, Ian, are you still watching? If you are, you can challenge me. Go ahead. Otherwise, that will be the last game. Carbon, you can't challenge anybody on the iPhone app. That feature is not there yet.
And I want to go e4 next move to stop this bishop. And he sacrifices it, but not enough here. Not enough for white. Hugo Smart is asking, how will you beat Magnus 26 when you're struggling with Magnus 14? Love your videos though, I can't beat level 9. Well, first off, thank you. And second, um, I'll worry about that when I get there, okay? We do it step by step and H by H. Let's put it like that. Slain Z is asking what are re the requirements to study in the US? It depends where you go. It really depends on where you go. But for my school, I don't, the requirements weren't that high. I wouldn't say so. Um, ooh, he's coming for me. He's coming for me. Rook g4. Hmm. It's funny. Kind of have to watch out now. <laughs> Didn't see that. <laughs> but okay, I'll just bring my queen back. Yeah, you do have to achieve a specific Tougher score and a specific SAT score. Those are the two. SAT is what everybody in the US takes. It's the, um, what is it called? Standardized achievement test, something like that. And the TOEFL only four N students have to take. But some schools don't even require it. It really depends. All right. Queen next move. So Hoshi resigned. And you're very welcome for the game, Hoshi. And thanks again for your support. Really appreciate it. Um, so that was the last game. Played a couple here. Let's check the chat real quick and then we'll wrap it up. <laughs> Spencer's making a good point. Will Magnus become easier again the older he gets? Well, not sure if they have thought about that yet, but maybe <laughs> they'll think about it in 20 years when he's 47. I mean, that's maybe when his playing strength will decline, but who knows? Anna is playing excellent chess at the age of 45, so that will still take a while. All right, so thanks for all you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream. It was fun for me to play some Blitz. And I'm sure I'll, in the soon future, do a live stream, which, or a Blitz live stream, which will be open for everybody again, because this was mainly for my supporters from Patreon. And because we reached a milestone goal on there, and I want to celebrate that and have a chance to play against some of them. And I did, so I'm really glad about that. But sure, surely I'll have a subscriber special as I had in the old days again uh, soon on here. Maybe when we reach 20k, who knows? Depends. I'm just, I'm really busy, but depends. We'll see. Um, so thanks for watching. Anna's 47. Wow. And if you haven't subscribed yet, Now's the chance, so you know when these live streams go down for the future. <laughs> and also when I publish other videos. I publish pretty regularly, so it makes sense. All right, so you guys have a good night. If you are in Germany, if you are somewhere else in the world, then enjoy the rest of your day or night, wherever you are. Bye-bye.